The Knicks have won four of their last six games, and they have won five of their last seven road games. They've been on a roll offensively, scoring more than 114 points per game while making 48% of their shots in their last three. They are very aggressive on the offensive glass, grabbing more than 12 offensive boards per game, which will lead to more second chance opportunities. They also did a good job protecting the ball and won't give the Pistons a lot of easy scoring shots. The Pistons have lost four of their last five home games and they're struggling defensively, giving up more than 112 PPG and will have a hard time slowing down the Knicks. The Pistons aren't very good offensively, scoring less than 105 points per game while making 42% of their shots. They don't rebound the ball as well as the Knicks and they were very careless with the ball in their last three, turning it over 17 times per game. The Knicks are 13th in the league in defensive efficiency and hold opponents under 107 points per game, so expect the Pistons to struggle one more time offensively in this game. Gonna have to lay the points and go with the Knicks here to cover. The Knicks are averaging 106.3 PPG and 106.6 on the road. They averaged 108 in their last three games against the Pistons. With Detroit giving up 109.7 at home, the Knicks will hit their average in this one. The Pistons are averaging 104.3 PPG and 105.1 at home. They averaged 85.6 per game in their last three against the Knicks. With New York giving up 106.6 on the road, the Pistons won't score enough points to push the score over the total. The Knicks and Pistons have played under the total in five of their last seven. First game to start off on the NBA board tonight, we are going to go with the New York Knicks at minus four. Knicks Pistons under 219. What say you? Let me know in the comment section. Taylor Fade, may the winner be yours. Good luck to each and everybody. Bet with your head, not with your heart. Be smart. This is Trending Rabbit.